one of the largest financial news in the United States of America, has now acknowledged that the U.S. sanction on China actually boosted China, and it also helped China gain supreme dominance in the semiconductor manufacturing, with China reaching the height of producing 7 nanometer chips despite harsh U.S. sanction on China. The success of Huawei and SMIC is a testament that China is now self-reliant, and they will now be able to place sanction on the U.S. also, should the U.S. be regretting the sanctions on China. Stay with us till the end. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The Rise of Semiconductor Manufacturing International Core EUS Stay Amid Stringent Sanctions presents a remarkable story of resilience and technological advancement in China's semiconductor industry. The company's success, particularly in developing a 7 nanometer processor for Huawei Technologies Company, highlights a significant shift in the global tech landscape, intensifying the ongoing geopolitical tussle between the US and China. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. GMITC's journey is characterized by its ability to navigate through a landscape riddled with obstacles, primarily shaped by U.S. sanctions aimed at curtailing China's technological growth. Despite these challenges, SMIC has managed to produce advanced semiconductors, a feat that was once thought to be beyond the reach of Chinese technology firms due to American technological dominance and stringent export controls. This accomplishment did not occur in a vacuum. It was the result of years of strategic planning, investment in research and development, and perhaps most crucially, an unyielding determination to achieve technological self-sufficiency in the face of external pressures. The U.S. government, particularly under the Trump and Biden administrations, implemented a series of measures designed to limit China's access to cutting-edge semiconductor technology. These included placing SMIC on the entity list in 2020, which required U.S. containers to obtain a license before supplying the firm with equipment or software with American origins. Despite these restrictions, SMIC continued to make strides in semiconductor manufacturing. The company's success in developing a 7 nanometer chip is not just a technical achievement. It's a symbolic victory in China's broader ambition to reduce its reliance on Western technology. This development has significant implications for the global tech industry particularly in the realms of artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and military applications, where advanced semiconductors play a critical role. The U.S. strategy has been to focus on limiting China's military capabilities rather than targeting its commercial tech sector. However, the dual-use nature of semiconductor technology complicates this approach. Chips that power smartphones like Huawei's Mate 60 Pro can also be used in military applications, blurring the lines between commercial and defense technology. This intermingling of uses has made it challenging for the U.S. to target its restrictions effectively without impeding the global semiconductor supply chain, in which China plays an increasingly significant role. CMICC's advancements also reflect a broader trend in the global semiconductor industry. The company has been accumulating chip-making equipment, including deep ultraviolet lithography machines from Azamel Holding NV, essential for manufacturing advanced semiconductors. These acquisitions have positioned SMDIC to potentially move towards more sophisticated 5 nanometer technology, a progression that would further solidify its place in the global semiconductor hierarchy. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. However, the U.S. continues to express skepticism about China's ability to produce these chips at scale. Officials like Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo have downplayed China's capacity for advanced chip manufacturing. This underestimation could either be a strategic position to downplay China's advancements or a genuine assessment of the challenges that lie ahead for SMIC and the broader Chinese semiconductor industry. As SMWC, pushes the boundaries of what's possible in chip manufacturing under the weight of U.S. sanctions, it becomes a symbol of China's broader aspirations for technological self-sufficiency. This development has far-reaching implications, not just for the semiconductor industry, 
but for the global balance of technological power. It's a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of a company operating in an increasingly polarized world where technology and geopolitics are inextricably linked. The success of SMITC, while a source of national pride in China, has raised alarm bells in Washington. It has led to calls for a more stringent approach towards the company and the Chinese tech sector in general. This situation has placed the Biden administration in a delicate position, balancing the need to maintain technological supremacy with the risks of further escalating tensions with Beijing. The story of SMICIC is more than just about chips. It's about the shifting dynamics of global power and the role of technology as a key driver of that change. As the company continues to navigate through a landscape shaped by geopolitical rivalries, its journey offers valuable insights into the complexities of global tech competition in the 21st century. The saga of SMIC in the context of U.S.-China technological rivalry is not just a tale of corporate endurance, but also a reflection of the broader strategic ambitions of China. The country has long aspired to reduce its dependency on Western technology, a goal that has become increasingly urgent in light of the escalating tech war with the U.S. SME CZ's breakthrough in advanced semiconductor manufacturing represents a critical step towards this larger objective of technological self-reliance. China's push for self-sufficiency in semiconductors is driven by both economic and security considerations. The semiconductor industry is foundational to the modern digital economy, powering everything from consumer electronics to critical infrastructure. For China, being dependent on foreign sources for such a crucial component of its economy represents a significant vulnerability. This dependency became glaringly apparent when U.S. sanctions disrupted supply chains and threatened the operations of Chinese tech giants like Huawei. CMTIC's success, therefore, is not just a corporate achievement. It is a strategic milestone for China's vision of technological independence. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. However, the path forward for SMIC and China's semiconductor ambitions is fraught with challenges. The semiconductor industry is one of the most capital-intensive and technologically complex sectors in the world, advancing to the next stages of semiconductor manufacturing, particularly the 5 nanometer process and beyond, requires not just massive financial investment, but also deep technical expertise and innovation. While SMIC has shown remarkable progress, reaching parity with industry leaders like Taiwan Semiconductor, manufacturing company Factoring Company, and South Korea's Samsung Electronics will require sustained efforts and breakthroughs. Moreover, the U.S. remains a formidable obstacle. The Biden administration has shown a willingness to use export controls and other policy tools to constrain China's technological advancement. The U.S. has significant leverage in this area, given its dominance in semiconductor design and manufacturing equipment. The recent tightening of export controls on semiconductor technology to China, including the restrictions on the sale of advanced chip-making equipment, illustrates the U.S. resolve to maintain its technological edge. This evolving landscape poses strategic dilemmas for both China and the U.S. For China, the challenge is to continue advancing its semiconductor capabilities despite external pressures and constraints. This will likely involve not just focusing on manufacturing, but also investing in semiconductor design and the broader ecosystem, including materials and equipment. For the U.S., the challenge is to balance the goal of hindering China's military advancements without unduly harming global supply chains or seeding ground in commercial technology sectors where cooperation could be beneficial. The story of SMIC and its role in the U.S.-China tech rivalry also underscores broader global implications. The semiconductor industry is a cornerstone of the global economy, and disruptions in this sector have ripple effects worldwide. The U.S.-China tech conflict epitomized by the situation surrounding SMIC, raises questions about the future of global tech collaboration and the potential for a bifurcated global tech landscape with separate U.S. and Chinese spheres of influence. GMBYC's journey in the face of U.S. sanctions is a microcosm of the larger U.S.-China tech competition. It reflects the aspirations, challenges, and strategic calculations of a nation determined to achieve technological self-sufficiency in an increasingly competitive and fragmented world. As this competition intensifies, the global tech landscape will continue to evolve with far-reaching implications for economies, 
industries, and geopolitics. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.